Hello my Pisces friends, this is your bi-weekly, it is from the 16th to 31st, so let's see the Doreen Virtue, flavor, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay, so we'll see how this reflects, whoa, ace of, whoa, you have the two aces, three, oh my gosh, you have three aces on the bottom, and they're all reversed, so what's going on Pisces? So maybe this is what it is. You're just trying to figure out certain things because this is love, this is business, friendship, and this is spirituality, action, thoughts. So somehow things are not revolving. You are trying to move on, but there are certain issues that need to be taken care of. Like once are something has to be done before it happens. So the new beginnings are not happening in this. There are some lies or truth not being told. Just make sure you're not lying yourselves, okay? So let's see. Whoa, the devil. Ouch. I love this kitty with this like green mouth here. So, the devil. I will not go into philosophy because these are bi weeklies and bi weeklies are like down and dirty, what's going on. So it is attraction. It's enormous attraction of maybe the third par party hover hovering. And I've seen it here as well. I see this could be a third party moving on, kind of try to save yourself. And here it could be the third party somebody was not committing. So I've seen this basically here. So you're trying to do this, but you're still kind of like feeling allure of that person. This usually is the ex or somebody not telling you they're committed. This also could be overindulgence for things. It could be addictions, could be alcohol, could be drugs, could be working too much, could be, you know, just imbalance that is created and feeling that you have to do it. It's kind of like literally I have to have to kind of like really you will like see you're boxed in into this kind of inflamed, right? It could be just like a whole bunch of things going on, which would kind of explain the um, the reversed aces, right? So what's crossing you? Okay, so you are kind of getting out of cold. Um, see kind of like from a very hot to very cold flavor, running hot and cold to some extent. Yeah, somebody is juggling. Are you the ones juggling, guys, or are you being juggled? And this is also talking about life. Two of Pentacles is my life card when so many things have to be kept up in the air, at least for the most of us. Very few of us are here independently rich that we never have to worry. But even if you're independently rich, you still have the other obligations, which means you have conquered the necessities and you still have to figure out kind of like things around it. So here is like these choices, right? And here's reverse, which sometimes it, it kind of tells me maybe the choice is really not even yours, right? And like, hence, because you're like a zombie, you just want certain things and you would do anything for this person and maybe you're being taken advantage of. Or it could be that Sweet Pisces is taking advantage of somebody else. We'll see. Yeah, this is a karma card. Something happened. Uh, something unlucky happened. Something see the wheel of fortune or the wheel over here it spins right so the more imbalance we are the more the less we feel the turbulence kind of like when we are in the center the less imbalance we are which basically happens in the situation this is like when the negativity kind of like kicks in so actually it's kind of funny this is connected um if we are kind of like choosing the things that we know on this level however you don't even know this person is not good enough for you or thing so this is like what addiction is it's just like you need to have it you kind of like don't even ask yourself questions and it could be that you have been pushed into the situation by some kind of series of unfortunate events as the title of the book says there is the fort wow four aces and this one that you're coming out is spurring growth and vitality and flexibility and new uh, and i love in this deck i love it it generally is such a phallic symbol and it is uh, representing masculinity but here is really giving me what needs to be given look something new is growing from the old this new is really vital and vigorous to the point of kind of like i can feel that i can lean on it so 10 is also like one and zero uh, ends up to be one so 
some unlucky things are finally coming back so something is finally becoming the right time and let's see what and there is like still inability to decide and that goes back to kind of like all these things being done feeling stuck but this is more or less an emotional decision what what do you guys resonate with like it looks like you have offers it's not that you don't have offers but you're not choosing any one of them so the question is why so you see there is some kind of disruption in the family life and this maybe could relate to this actually let me put those guys over here because you also have this faded eight and most of us had in readings like you're what is the eighth sign i'm reading in a raw and most of us have eights showing up so look you have a 10 you have a 10 you have a one and look at like you have these three ones over here as well so and then eight and three again are 11 so you can just imagine that you're like really on the brink of something so something with the family it kind of went aside it kind of like maybe uh maybe there is like no vision anymore because look here you see the happy family you see the children you see the parents you see the grandparents you see this kind of like arch of possibilities right but this could be ignoring or wasting something or you feel something has been wasted or somebody wasted your time wasted your heritage you're not being honored and hence there is this hesitancy right about it right so this is the environment somebody needs to be admired and i think because it's a fire kind of thing over here it kind of relates to this Maybe you're attracted to someone. This could also mean like, I mean, this huge, enormous sexual attraction with someone. But maybe this someone is married. Maybe this someone is in a relationship. Maybe this someone you know is lying to you. You know this is not a good opportunity. You know that this is not going to end well. So be very careful. But I know that maybe it's the right timing because right now you kind of see you guys are so sweet. You kind of trust everything being told, but this is three of cups. It's reversed. It's a third person, just like somebody juggling here. And the strength means somebody is not committing. So truth was not told. You have been maybe told one version of a story and it's not true. Just if you have to take away something from this today, yes, passion is here, but you're not being told the truth. Truth needs to be told. There we go again, the third party. It keeps warning you guys. Okay, so tarot is a warning tool and there is like not the right time, not the right place or not the right person. So in the end, it's, it's a false alarm of a soulmate. So Tarot is a wonderful tool that tells us this and I know it very well because I know tarot very well and I read for myself because you know it is here and then I see something like this is not going to happen to me and it happens and then the next time and the next time and the next time it's like oh my god right so it's getting to the point that I'm so addicted to tarot that recently I had to buy a car and um, I was looking in tarot like I mean do you even have to bother do I not have to bother and this time I was like very cognizant of that my ability to ignore negativity we kind of like are made this way and it's probably good because the free will tops everything right so I actually did go and see the cars even though they said kind of no i know i know and i had a really dear friend who's a mechanic who kind of like went with me and each and every time but a card said no or something deceptive or something it just like happened that way either people got caught in a lie which not necessarily means that the car is bad but then you have to put everything under question mark and then finally I had all the pluses, right? I had actually Ace of Pentacles, I had Ace of Fire, and I had Wheel of Fortune. Like, I mean, I had like three ones, just meaning go. And I got a great deal. And literally, mechanic didn't have one word to say. Just to just buy this. Okay, so there you go. So let's clarify certain things here, guys. The temperance means like something is not gluing something is just not going over right here so you have two major arcanas you have you really want three major arcanas pardon me and strength here reversed so 
do not be led down the garden path. The person is not telling you the truth. Look, this is a sign. Juggling. Juggling. Which, the third one, juggling. Three times. So guys, don't say that you haven't been warned. And the person is not committing. They will not commit, but they will tell you they will commit. They will tell you they, they love you. You kind of like are going to be so attracted that you might go into that. And be careful because you might be disrupting. It could be also you that you are straying away. You, it might be you that you want to go, but be careful. This person is not who they see. So let's start with the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on here. Oh my gosh, you have a cluster of cards. There you go. The third party again. Communication is false communication. You're not going to get clarifications the way you want. You see, it can make you feel, you know, depressed. And eventually, you will realize you have to kind of fly away. You have to get out of it. And you're going to really wonder, what the heck was I thinking? Right? So... Let's see this. Let's see here. So something maybe you can relate to. What happened with this tides turning against you? What happened here in the past? So here are the few ones. Some gift. Maybe it was something financial because after all you have the finances and career. Maybe you're waiting for promotion. Maybe you didn't get a promotion. Maybe you're trying to see the new direction at your work. Maybe you're feeling this is kind of like not working out. Maybe you feel it's a dead end job. It kind of like doesn't have to be emotional. It's certainly kind of so if you have the finances and career leaning on you, this is kind of like a Maslow kind of like a hierarchy of needs it's the basic need that we have to survive so our job has to be taken care of before we can love and move forward this is why it's never a good idea to date someone who has been going through divorce who has been going through legal issues because these issues like weigh very heavily on their moods and their emotions so the clarity needs to be reached so same thing for us we shouldn't be dating in this kind of situations let's see this devil who is the devil love you see it is you are falling for someone heavily and these are two sides sometimes people feel that attraction is love and it is devil and that's why it feels so appealing be very very careful i told you so and i want to hear what you say tell me that i was wrong i really want to be proven wrong for your own sake but i have to tell you i only read cards and cards are telling me this let me see what is this new beginning, what is this new passion, what is this new found virility, new found flexibility. Okay, it is based, it, it kind of sprouted, you see this kind of end, sprouted from some kind of sorrow. Uh, it looks like there was a communication with someone and here this priest is also a lawyer and it could actually indicate somebody married again or somebody who kind of has some kind of heavy duty obligations or you might be kind of like cutting certain things out this can also mean something legal that something legal is finishing right because we have the sorrow here first and let's see what is this temperance reversed yeah something you know you see the point is like drugs and addictions let's talk about it because this is also part of devil and so why do people get addicted because it feels good and why it feels good because you need the outside stimuli for something that is like not feeling right inside so it makes you feel temporarily good but each time you're digging a deeper and deeper and deeper hole and eventually you end up it's like losing weight like really quickly you end up regaining that weight plus some so that's the thing shortcuts are yeah soothing you temporarily but anything that is not in moderation is going to harm you guys so here when you get into this what they want please really think if you already know that certain things are not going to so you have to figure out what serves you and what doesn't serve you over here 
and let me see this. So you will recognize this person. This person needs to be admired. Or this person is like uh, coming on. It's very sexy or kind of chasing you in that direction. But look, you have like three dead ends. It's like a street with three dead ends. And not only that, but it's going to push you back. So yeah look this is actually pretty cool kind of thinking about it rejecting it you you have to tap into your old wise in your wiseness what is it you want what would be the advice of your mother what would be advice of your father what would be advice of the counselor we did have a doctor yeah so this can mean counseling as well maybe you guys are still going why this one wants to come yeah this wants to go sites it could be somebody that is a long distance kind of have the motive of the sea on both of them it could be that something is like already becoming a part of the past but it's still resonating and and it could be that you cannot cut the cords because you think you love this person but you also know on some level that this is not going to end well so guys there is like no future with this person but you can conquer it you can conquer it and how you conquer it focus on your work focus on your finances focus on your life and this is where you should be this two weeks so pisces beat the devil okay beat the devil love you and this is a general reading for your individual one the best is to contact me via my website is going to come back later and just remember that there is also monthly readings so at the very end of this video it's going to be a link or you can just go in the description i listed them all if you are here to ask about your exes i just released them yesterday so check this one out and lastly, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. You're the first one to get. Like, share, and visit me on my Facebook. Yeah, yeah. And don't forget, I love you, Pisces. All the best. Well, thank you for watching and please remember to join my Facebook as well where you can get different tips and possibly healing as well on daily basis. Thanks again. Until the next time. Love you.